Government held its first cabinet session of 2015 today. At the close part of the session, the Milanovic cabinet selected the five oil companies from six bids submitted, with which it will begin negotiations in connection to offering concessions for the exploration and exploitation of oil and gas reserves in the Croatian part of the Adriatic Sea. The companies chosen are Croatia's INA, Italian companies ENI and MOG, Austrian OMV, and American Marathon Oil. The 25-year concession covers an area of almost 37,000 square kilometers. Deputy Prime Minister Branko Grčić said last week that he expects contracts to be signed within the next six months. Several new laws have taken effect as of the new year. According to the new tax law, interest citizens accrue on their savings accounts will be taxed, as will all gambling winnings. Another novelty is a minor increase in salaries and pensions for most Croatians after government raised the non-taxable portion of their income. However, the move will cost local units of government millions in lost revenues, forcing them to raise local taxes and fees for local services. It remains to be seen if citizens will benefit from the government's decision. Also new is that small businesses will now pay value-added tax on the basis of invoices paid and not invoices issued, as was the case until now. The change is expected to greatly improve liquidity for small businesses. Government today adopted a decision on a starting price and the procedure for collecting binding bids for the purchase of shares in Zagreb's Immunology Institute. Slightly more than 54% of the Institute's share capital is to be sold, although the Croatian Health Insurance Fund will retain a controlling stake of 25%. Six cities failed to adopt a budget by December 31st. Dubrovnik, Korčula, Rab, Omish, Hvar, Pag and Novi Marov. Procedures will now be initiated for the holding of early elections in these cities, while the government will be naming commissioners to manage affairs until the elections are held. The Snow Queen World Cup skiing event on Zagreb's Mount Slieme is set to take place this week. The women's slalom will be held on Thursday with four Croatian skiers competing, while the men's race will be held on Saturday with six Croatians led by veteran Ivica Kostelic vying for a place on the podium. Meanwhile, in football, Croatian international Ivan Strinic has signed on with Italian side Napoli. The 27-year-old defender had been playing for Ukrainian side Dnipro. Predominantly sunny on the coast, partly sunny inland with more cloud cover in the evening and a chance of some freezing rain. Winds in the interior will be mild with a moderate northeasterly and northwesterly on the Adriatic. Highs for the day will be between 0 to plus 5 degrees Celsius inland, 10 to 14 on the coast. More of the same tomorrow and on Sunday, with partly sunny skies and more cloud cover and a chance of some freezing rain in the evening. Slightly colder by the end of the weekend. Predominantly sunny on the coast, passing cloud cover on Sunday will bring with it some rain. A moderate northwesterly will shift to a strong northerly, bringing with it colder temperatures on Monday. Thank you.